Hi, welcome back to Tea and Forget Me Nots. I'm Rachel, and if you're new here, I upcycle furniture and decor. And you can get an even more in depth explanation of my projects at my blog, teaandforgetmenots.com. Now, today I'm talking about something which you might think is embarrassing to admit, and that is when a piece of furniture doesn't sell. But actually, I want to reassure new upcyclers that it's quite normal if things don't sell for a while. There are plenty of reasons why furniture might not sell that aren't related to you, such as the time of the year and even the economy. So there are a few different options if your furniture doesn't sell. You could do the obvious, which is lower the price. You can try and sell it at a different time of year, maybe when more people are buying furniture. Or you can do what I'm doing today, which is repainting. But the point I really want to make in this video, if you're a newer upcycler, don't be disheartened if your pieces don't sell. There are a few different things you can do to try and help that process. I sell my pieces at a local barn shop and the bookshelf I'm giving a makeover to today has been there for about six months without selling. So I've bought it home to make it a bit more neutral and hopefully appeal to a few more people. All right, let's make my pink bookshelf a little bit more neutral. So here's the original bookshelf that I painted about six months ago in Dixie Bell's Conch and Endless Shore. And I really like this makeover, I could picture it maybe in a child's bedroom or someone's even said to me before that it would suit their kitchen. So I think it works but of course doing a bright colour such as pink it's not going to appeal to everyone and that reduces the amount of possible customers that it would suit. So here we are six months later and we're going to have another go. I'll link to the original makeover in case you're interested in how to create this look. For both makeovers, I'll leave a link to all the products listed below if you want to recreate the look or find out any more information about them. So for the first step, I used sandpaper and completely scuffed up the original top coat so that the future coats of paint would have something to grip to. I then used just a damp cloth to remove all the sand and dust so I had a clean surface to start from. So the new colour I chose was called Hampton Olive by Dixie Belle from their Silk Range and Silk Range has a built-in primer and top coat. This is a really lovely earthy muted green which I thought would be perfect seeing as this bookshelf would be ready and going back to the barn to sell around autumn time. I used a flat synthetic brush to apply the paint to the top and my technique is generally to get the paint on quickly and then go back and smooth it out so rather than perfect it as I go so it can look a bit messy but it generally works in the end. This is a self leveling paint which means that the paint tends to even itself out across the surface leaving a smooth finish and not very many brush strokes. For the ridges along the back of the bookshelf, I find it's easier to do the ridges first before the flat sections because for that you're pushing the paint into the back of it and it can get a little bit messy with the brush strokes dabbing in the ridges so it's better to do that first and then smooth it out rather than the smooth sections and make a bit more of a mess by doing the dabbing bit afterwards. And between coats I lightly sanded with a fine grit sandpaper just to get rid of any little bits of paint nibs that appeared on the surface or any stray hairs. I needed three coats of the green in total and as people often want to know whether or not I paint the bottom or the back of some of my pieces this is the answer because obviously it had been painted originally in pink I needed to make sure that it all matched. It would look very strange for a green bookcase to have a pink bottom. And the most convenient way to paint the bottom of furniture for me is that I turned it upside down and put it on some furniture wheels so I could rotate it easily and kept the furniture on top of a towel so that it protected the newly painted finish. And onto the shelves which were originally painted white. Now unfortunately the technology gremlins have stolen this footage of me staining these shelves. However, if you would like to see that process, I recently did a video staining the cabinet door. So you can check out how I do the staining in that video. But for these shelves I used no pain gel stain in walnut and needed three coats in total to get to this finish. So you should allow about six hours in total before you add another coat of stain. So between the three coats I did on both the top and then the bottom and allowing for the dry time in between each and the two coats of sealer that I added on top, the entire time it took to do just these two shelves was about 10 days. 
unfortunately while all of that was going on I was able to finish the main part of the bookshelf. So I did two coats of sealer which is clear coat in satin across the entire bookshelf. And I've had comments before as to why do I add a top coat or a sealer when there is a built in top coat to the paint and that is a fair point except I just like to have maximum protection. It might be unnecessary but after all the hours of work, especially having done this project twice, I really don't want to risk the finished chipping. And the cure time of the paint, so when it is fully hardened and as protected as it will ever be, is about 3-4 to four weeks. So perfect timing to go to the barn for when people are back from their summer holidays. It just goes to show what a difference paint can make, it really has two completely different feels from this furniture now. I liked the original pink makeover, it had a nice fun summery feel to it, but this green is really beautiful and really cosy and warm so I'm happy that I've made the change and hopefully this time someone else will like it enough too. Please let me know in the comments which you prefer, are you a summery pink kind of person or an autumny green? Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video, I hope you enjoyed the transformation and if you did please consider liking or subscribing, it makes a huge difference to smaller channels like mine. Or please watch another video in the playlist. Until next time, thanks so much for watching, bye!